In this video, I'll be going over a change that Google just made just within the last few days that affects all YouTube advertisers. There's some bad news and there is some good news. So watch this entire short video to get the full scoop. My name is Kyle Sullerud. I'm the founder and CEO of AdLeg, a marketing company that specializes in YouTube ads. And I wanted to get this video out quickly. Google just made a change. As best as we can tell, it happened last Friday and it affects all of us as YouTube advertisers. So let me just back up briefly and give you a, a couple things leading up to this change that you need to be aware of if, if you're not already. So at the end of last year, Google removed our ability to exclude video partners on the display network. If we're trying to run ads that only show to people on YouTube, uh, we used to be able to uncheck this box that said video partners on the display network and that would ensure our ads really only did show up on YouTube. But end of last year, we started getting forced to include this box, which is grayed out. We can't uncheck it anymore. And what that means is our YouTube ads are not only running on YouTube, they're also showing up on partner websites on the display network and these placements are not very good they just don't perform as well definitely not as well as our ads perform if we're running them as in-stream ads on youtube so uh, we made the best of the situation as advertisers there were things we could do like compiling lists of display network sites excluding those from our campaigns we could also use certain types of targeting and with those types of targeting, our ads, in fact, would not show up on the display network. They would not show up on these partner sites. So as of last week, we could target video and channel placements and our ads would only show on those placements. So with most other types of targeting, our ads were, were showing up on these video partner sites on the display network. But with placement targeting, they were not. Our ads were only showing up on the placements we were targeting. Well, end of last week, again on Friday, it looks like this started happening. Placement targeted campaigns started getting traffic from the display network. So we were wondering what, what the heck is going on. And it didn't take too long to figure out that there was this new thing showing up in our campaigns. When we went to our placements, we could see this new placement was listed here, Google AdSense without YouTube.com. And it looked just like this. It had the red X saying that the placement was removed, but in fact, it, it was getting traffic. This placement uh, said it was removed, but this is what it looked like. It had data, impressions, views, costs. This was costing us money. So, I don't know if you've seen this yet or if this video is your first exposure to this. I would go into your account now, go into your content section, go into placements and take a look, see if you see this placement listed and see if you've spent any money on it yet. Now, if you're like me, uh, you probably went to this website and saw that it's nothing. It's, it's a non-existent website. I also Googled this there are zero results for this on Google right now. So, okay, not really any information, but let's, let's see what we can do about this. Okay, now we have a placement. The question is, can we exclude this placement from our campaigns and would we then stop getting this traffic? To exclude a placement from all of your campaigns, which is the easiest way to do it. You'd go to your tools and settings and then your placement exclusion lists and you can create a list. I created this one that just has this specific URL as an exclusion. This Google AdSense without YouTube.com, just like this with the underscores. I added this as an exclusion in a new placement exclusion list and then applied it to all of the campaigns in, in an account. And we, we did this in all of our accounts. The question then is, by creating this exclusion list, by 
excluding this URL from our campaigns, does that stop the display traffic? The answer, yes, yes. So far, this has actually stopped display traffic um, in all of our campaigns. So this, that's the good news here is that we can't we can't uncheck that box anymore to stop display traffic but now what we can do is add this url as a placement exclusion and our ads will stop showing up on video partners on the display network is this going to work tomorrow i don't know uh today it works so go ahead and do this now and your ads will stop showing on the display network well let me know what what you think of this? What do you think of all this? Uh, it seems like a pretty uh, pretty sneaky move on Google's part to suddenly start showing ads on placements that we were not trying to target with our placement targeting. Um, it's obviously good that we can now exclude this URL in not just existing campaigns, but we can exclude this in brand new campaigns that we are setting up. Um, hopefully that continues to be an option for us, but let me know what you think of this. Did you notice this? If you go to your campaigns now, are you seeing this placement? Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'd, I'd love to hear what everyone thinks. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do that. You, you're not going to want to miss any possible future updates like this. Um, so make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and of course more in-depth uh, videos that are a lot more well produced and well put together. If this is the first video you've ever seen from me, go watch some more videos. I think you're going to like what you see. Thanks for watching today's video. Again, my name is Kyle Sullerud and I'll see you in the next video.